Hello everyone, hello, Cesare here with Judgment. Uh, we're in chapter 10, which is, um, we had just tried to get the Matsugare family to come out and uh, face us, but, uh, they wouldn't. They were kind of cowards. Oh, okay, hang on. And now we're getting attacked by the Kain gang. Uh, Kaido got shot in the stomach. What a waste. Vector, Faye. Cheshire, how you guys doing though? How was your weekend? What did you get up to? Tell me about it. We got some friend events here to do, so let's do them. Meh. Oh my. Oh. Mari does not want to talk. I guess we can't do Mari's friend event. Well. Finished DQ4, you finished God of War, and you moved on to The Last of Us 2. Yeah. Looks like everyone's having a good time this weekend. I don't know if you guys can see her, but here's Bailey. Oh, well, you can kind of see her. There's her head. Hi, Bailey. Hello. We get an early Bailey cameo today. No. You ready to uh, continue Minecraft Ark and start Pokemon Sword on PC? Do you have like a Nintendo Switch emulator? Is that how you're playing that on PC? Who's this? Oh. Pardon me, sir, but you look awfully tired. I recommend a full body de stress package, pronto. Hmm? Are you talking to me? <laughs> yes, I'm talking to you. I was thinking I could come over to your place sometime and ease those throbbing muscles. Hmm. Yeah, I'm not so. I'm not really interested in that kind of massage. I'll pass. Just... The heck? I never said I was going to do anything weird. I'm a mobile massage therapist for crying out loud. Oh. Whoops. Darn right, whoops. Are there no actual health professionals here in Kamaracho? <laughs> anyway, the name's Sakura Amamiya. And I've fixed busted backs and broken hearts from Sotenbori all the way to Tokyo. The name sounds familiar. Hmm. Good. That's very smart, Cheshire. Broken hearts, huh? You're sounding awfully scammy right now, lady. Come on, that's just part of my bit. You'll understand once you have your first session. Right now I'm offering my services for the very low price of 3,000 yen an hour. My hands are pure magic, so I'm told. Ah. Yeah, now I'm even more skeptical. Stop being a weirdo and just try it out. Or at least take my contact info. What? She's got like a really low increase. You're not able to call Sakura I mean, I'm a Mia in the off to the office using the messages app. I mean, we gotta go to the office to do that? Alright, well, the office is just right here, so. And then we got this friend, and then I, we got our date. So let's go do. Let's go to the office. That's a very smart thing. Why is she so high up on the list? Right, I have to use my key. Perfect. 
Oh, you guys started off with soccer or Hi Hibera. Huh? Whoa, what? what's wrong? Help, Yagami-san, this is bad. Wait, aren't you that girl from the haunted apartment thing? Yes, you, Yukaku Oki. Yagami-san, you're a detective, aren't you? I need your help. All right, calm down, what happened? He, Mamoru is missing. Gone in 20 minutes. Huh? Missing? Mamoru was your boyfriend, right, Shimizu-san? Yes, Mamoru Shimizu, my darling Shinookums. He's missing. How long has he been gone? Two hours. It's been a full two hours since he contacted me. Hmm? Wait, two hours? I mean, that's all? What do you mean, that's all? This is serious. Excuse me. I want you to take a deep breath and explain what happened. Y yes, all right. Ever since that thing with the apartment, the love Mamoru and I share has only grown deeper. When we can't see each other, we make sure to contact each other every 20 minutes. Huh? Every 20 minutes? Hardly enough. But we both have jobs now, so it's the best we can do. Hmm. These two are nuts. But I knew that already, didn't I? But it's been over two hours since I heard from him now. Could it be that he got busy with work or something like that? That was my first thought too, so I called the company, but they said he hadn't even shown up today. But I know he got up and left for work this morning. And if he's not there, something terrible must have happened to him. I went to the police, but they wouldn't even take me seriously. Much less organize a search party. I don't know what to do if something happened to him. I'd probably just die. Okay, Yukaku, you're at like a 10. Can you please come down to a 6? It's only been two hours. Have you considered that he might just come back? You don't believe me either? You're with them, aren't you? Where did you take my sweet pickle puppy? What? Well, back it up. How did you even survive a leap of logic that long? I didn't take him. If you didn't take him, then help find him. Please, I'll kill myself right here and now if you don't. What's... Okay, okay. I'm on the case. I'm charging the same as the last time, though. 80,000 yen work for you? Yes. Just find him as soon as possible. But we don't have any leads right now, unless you have anything you can find on your phone. Mm. I don't think about it. I think Mamoru set up some kind of... Kind of GPS thingy on here. Mm -hmm. Oh, wait, you have location sharing turned on? <laughs> yeah, whoops, that totally slipped my mind. Well, can you check? That might crack the case, you know? Of course, hold on. Got it. He's at Theater Square. Okay, tell you what. You go wait at home to see if he starts heading back, and I'll head to Theater Square. Okay, okay, good point. I'll head there now. Call me if anything happens. Okay. Well, let's just hope he's there. I did not come in here with the intention to start a side case. So, here we are. Man, I'm exhausted. Maybe I should call up that masseuse. 3,000 yen an hour is not bad. Hey, could I get a massage sometime? You betcha. Just give me your name and address and I'm there. My name's Takayuki Yagami. Could you come to Yagami Detective Agency in Nakamichi Alley? Sure, I'll be right over then. yagami -san. Well then, let's get you set up right yeah. quick. Yeah, set me up good. Uso. I'm surprised, Yagami-san. Your muscles are actually quite tense. Is being a detective that yeah. tough? More or less, I do a little bit of everything. From investigating affairs to finding lost cats. <gasps> oh my, that does sound rather exhausting. But ever, even so, I've never seen anyone wound up this bad. Uh, Hi, Bailey. Am I gonna be okay? See ya. This ain't just a matter of being okay or not. If you keep pushing yourself like this, you'll end up losing your life. Huh? You mean I'll die? See ya. Yeah. I recommend a heavy dose of acupuncture on the double. Tell me where you feel the most pain, because that's where the needles will go. But I'm kind of scared of needles. Will this really make me feel better? Mm. I sure hope so. This is my first time sticking a needle in someone, after all. Huh? Wait, what? Are you serious? Am I going to be alright? Maybe. Everything goes according to the luck of the needles. <laughs> you might heal up and feel like a new man, or you might not, and suffer irreversible consequences. Huh? Irreversible consequences? Just what are you trying to do to me? <laughs> He's just playing around. 
thought some Osaka style humor would loosen you up a bit. Nah. And do you think that helped? Well, I'm about to find out, so let's get to puncturing. Since this is 3,000 yen and each needle costs a thousand, I'll be using three needles on you. Oh, I don't fucking know. Go. So, shoulders. Hmm? You want it right here? Ugh. Ah! <laughs> wow, that was quite a howl. You right there? All right, there, partner. Still alive, I hope. I feel like my spine is being shattered by a shockwave of suffering. Are you sure these needles are safe? <gasps> Dude, how are you so freaked out? You are a man, aren't you? Grow up here and calm the heck down. You'll live, I think. Huh? Dude, but do survive. This is pure agony. <laughs> if it hurts, that means it's working. Alright, where should I put this next one? Let's put it in his bag. Take this, Yagami. Uh, no. Well, how was it? Worked like a child, aren't you? Whoa. What's going on? I feel better, yeah. In fact, I'm feeling better than I ever had before. Right? Looks like my needles did their job. Lucky you. Can we not talk about luck when it comes to putting needles in my body? Alright, where should I put this next one? Let's put it in his ass. Take that! No. Oh. oh, is that right? Feels good, don't it? Ugh. Holy. It's like a surge of energy is welling up deep within my bones. How do I feel about her giggle? I feel like it is one that I cannot reproduce, but it's fine. Oh well, must be nice to be so young. Whew, that was some good practice. You sure do have a high threshold for pain, but I bet I could torture you all day. Rude. Huh? How about not doing that? Huh. You Tokyo folks really do have no sense of humor. I bet you wouldn't last a day in Osaka. Nah. Oh, then I've decided Osaka scares me. See ya. Good. You best not take Osaka lightly. Alrighty then. Give me a ring if you feel like getting another massage. Alright. <sighs> that was the craziest massage I've had to date. You turn me up more? I said that I, um, I, I don't have any issues with it one way or the other. I can't reproduce it. That's for sure. I do have Bailey sitting in the way of my camera, possibly my mic. So if I sound too quiet, uh, it's because I gotta stay somewhat quiet because him is sleeping. But also because, um, Bailey might be sitting in front of the mic. <laughs> Ordering from the beef song. Bailey, can you not sit right there? Good stuff. You're very cute. Back to it. Yeah, you're a very good girl, but there's lots of other places to lie down. Alright, guys, so for that case, we gotta go over to Theater Square. US. <laughs> Got him. And stay down. And stay down. Hey, Bailey. Bailey's back. And we're gonna be in trouble. Hey, now. Hey, now. Hi, little cat. No? Not sticking around again? Okay. Little cats. Alright, I can't see the map right now, so... Your brother does a, a crazy mock, mocking giggle laugh, but only on rare occasions, not in front of others. He only he only does it in private for you. Ah, this smartphone is it Shimizu-san's? Whoa, the list of missed calls from Yukako-san is insane. But I knew it would be. I think that confirms that this is Shimizu's phone, but he's nowhere to be found. 
스피드 높아는 사람이네. 그럼 계산 해도 안 해도 돼. Hello? <laughs> you got it, okay? If you're worried about mom or then come to Camaro Hills hmm? immediately. What? Wait. Hmm. Hang up. What's going on? I better get to Camaro Hills. Guess I should let you talk to her. Oh, damn. Why would you tell her? She's just gonna rush there and put herself possibly Hello? in danger. Hello, Yukaku-san? Yakumi-san, where's Mama? I'm afraid he wasn't here, just a smartphone. And then a strange man called and said to go to Kamuro Hills before hanging out. What? Is Mama okay? Does that mean he was kidnapped? I can't be sure. They didn't demand a ransom though, which would be typical kidnappers. But the person who called assumed it would be you who answered. They specifically called to give you a mess that message. What? Hmm. I don't really get it either, but I'm heading to Kamuro Hills to get to the bottom of this. I'm going too. Alright, see you there. Be careful though. Yep, he's doing like an a a anime Alice in Wonderland we saw as children. I like Alice in Wonderland. I particularly like the uh, American McGee's Alice in Wonderland though. No more. Ah, have you ever played Alice Madness Returns? Because that game is fantastic. Guess we're doing this. Hey, what a bit. That was just plain rude. I already said Alice, or uh, American Mickey's Alice in Wonderland. Matt Madness Return specifically is my favorite. Though there was supposed to be a third one, they they, they kind of got into development hell and never did anything. They never did anything with it. Thank you, little cat. Okay. Oh, yeah, fight someone. I didn't want to do that, but alright, works for me, I guess. Defeated. Alright, guys, so. What a waste. You don't like when companies make it gory? Uh, I don't think American McGee's was gory. Um, uh, I don't remember there being any gar in the game. I'm not a big fan of gore either. Not that I have any issues with gore, it's just a lot of companies tend to... A lot of companies seem to think gore is a substitute for horror, and... Yeah, it does, it's not. Like, uh, the hostile movies. I don't know. I don't find them, the hostile movies particularly scary. Really, but, guys? um, they are full of gore. Like, just like an excessive amount. And, I often think that they think that that's what makes them scary. And, no, it just makes them full of gore. Hmm? Huh? She was his own? <laughs> Surprise! Huh? Yeah, me some? I've been looking for you, man. Where'd you- where were you and what were you doing? Wait, if you're looking for me then uh, uh, what the heck is going on? I picked up your phone and I got a pretty threatening call. That was you on the other, uh, other end, Yagami-san? That's not how that was supposed to go. Mamoru! Yukako! Oh, I hate that place so much. Surprise! Forget that! Where were you? Uh, oh, are you upset? Of course I am! I was worried sick! You weren't, you weren't meeting another woman, were you? What are you saying, Yukako? I'm not even capable of that. Then what were you doing? Okay, Yukako, close your eyes real quick. Huh? Excuse me? Just close your eyes, Yukako. What in the hell? Hmm? Naga-san? Oh, Yagami-san, what brings you here? The long story, the real question is, why are you here? <laughs> oh, Mamoru asked me to come, man. 
We're bros, so I told him I'd be glad to be his girlfriend's present. Huh? What? You're a, a present? Yeah, me and this guy go all the way back to high school. I knew Yukako was a fan, so... I planned it all out as a surprise for her birthday. Dropping the smartphone was part of it, but... Oh, and that's why you called. Hey, uh, guys, how long do I have to keep my eyes closed? Oh, sorry, sorry, okay. Huh? Whoa! You... You were wearing a wig? N no, it's a hat! Yeah! Yagami-san! Yagami-san, go after it! Huh? Again? Come on, Mamoru's girlfriend can't see me like this! Hey, come on, how long do I have to keep my eyes shut? Yagami-san! Hurry up, Yagami-san! She's going to open her eyes! We're crying out loud. Alice Madrid's Returns is, um... A great game. Why are we doing this again? That was the wrong button. It also popped up very late. Wait a sec. But you took the most obtuse way around. Wait a sec. Why does this thing fly so far every time? Oh, okay, we have skateboard now. Here we go. It's so fast. <laughs> you kind of like that the front peg of this game is actually paid. He really looks like him, right? Hey, silly. Here. Phew. That was clutch, man. Okay, Yukaka. You can open your eyes now. Okay, long enough. Wait, what? No way. No way! Toya? Huh? What? How? Happy birthday, Yukaka! Here's my present for you. Is this what you've been up to, Mamoru? I had to get things ready, so I couldn't get in touch. I'm sorry for worrying you, Yukiko. Oh, well then, why didn't you just tell me, Monkey Muffin? <laughs> then it wouldn't be a surprise, would it, my sugar booger? <laughs> You're lucky to have a guy who can make you smile, Yukiko-san. I see no one wants to stop and consider what I just went through. Excuse me. Hey, can I go now? Oh, yeah, here's your fee, Yagami-san. Shall we then? I've got a reservation at that Italian place you love. Yay, let's go, let's go! Ah, <laughs> uh, you two are a couple peas in a pod. I'm sure it's not just the third... You sure I'm not just the third wheel here? Of course not, I'm so happy you're here! That's twice this couple has taken me on a ride. That's how silly he is. Hmm? Yeah, I don't check in. Now we don't have to deal with the K-ing gang every 8 seconds. Like, uh, whenever we're about to play uh, Star Wars or something, Silly will be like, Vero-kun! That reminds me of uh, Rowan in, um... In, Oh, fuck's name in the uh, show. Um, Ragnarok, uh, the anime. What a waste. Um, he's probably gonna go down on our Cheshire. Chesh Wig guy is a famous uh, idol in uh, Kamurocho, apparently. Not a wise choice. I didn't want to do that, but that's super cool. I've never seen that one before. 
Don't worry, I'll pull you out of the way of the car only to crush your chest, crush your chest cavity. But you hear it, had a bold knife on me. What's that shit? Hey, Matsuda. Ah. I can't let you get run over. I need to crush you myself. Matana. Matana. Alright. Guys, we have this friendship event, and then our date with Amine san, and then we are uh, ready to move on in the game, I think. I was not expecting to have to do the side story with Mamoru and Kuk uh, Yokoku, or Yukaku, whatever the fuck her name is. Kako. What? Uh, no. Hey! Aren't you the guy who was being chased by the cops not long ago? Huh? What? Oh, trust me, I wasn't doing anything bad. I was, was self-defense, see? I was getting harassed by some thugs, and... <laughs> who cares about that? All I noticed was your running was incredible. That's what you're focused on? Just, who are you, anyway? I'm Shin Isaka, a sprinter in track and field. Okay. And you are? It's me. Yagami. Alright, yeah, I mean, here, there's a favor I need to ask a speed demon like you. What is it? Chase me, younger son. I want you to run after huh? me. Excuse me? What do you mean? Yes, I want to feel your footsteps right behind my heels. I can't unlock my full potential unless I'm being chased. Doesn't that mean you only have limited potential in the first place? <laughs> Not at all. Ever since I was little, I'd always run like the wind whenever someone chased me. Okay, even if that is the case, why not ask one of your fellow athletes? Those guys just don't understand the concept. That rush you feel when you know you're almost caught. You're running as a peculiar intensity, Yakami-san. Seeing those legs pound the pavement, it's what I've always yearned for. A bit of someone like you is barreling down behind me, I'll unlock a hidden potential within me. Please haul ass for me, Yakami-san. I'll give you some, something special if you do. Your choice of words is horrible, but fine, I guess I'll chase you down. Yes, you're wonderful! So, how do we start this thing? Just chase after me. Let your predatory instinct run wild. I don't even... Let's just get this over with. Whew, yeah. Then on your mark, get set, go! Alright. Silly, so, when you're walking down the streets of uh, New York, do you ever have somebody just ask you to chase them? But once a week or so. How often do you do it? Well, I failed that one on purpose, because I would have run into the car if I didn't. I should be in range to catch him now, like, what the heck? Okay. About once a week, so... <laughs> yeah, I mean, you were nothing short of amazing. <laughs> Did you unlock any hidden potential? Yes! I feel like I got something important during our little jog. Here, it's your reward as promised. Good, then I'll be going now. Wait, wait, um, I actually still have some more grasping to do. What? Yeah, I grasped something important during our run, but it wasn't a full grasp, so please help me again sometime. Hmm. I guess I could, if I feel like it. Sounds like a plan. I'll be warming up right here, Yagami. So, uh, 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 so please come talk to me whenever you're free, Yagami-san. Alright, well, let's go on our date, and then we can talk to him again, I guess. That was ridiculous. <laughs>